These are contraindications to post-operative BPAP. BPAP is biphasic positive airway pressure. It's worth noting that BiPAP is a specific trademarked name from a specific company. The generic way to say it would be BPAP, biphasic positive airway pressure. First, some standard precautions for using BPAP. You want to use peak airway pressures of 25 centimeters of water and a pressure support ventilation below 6 to 8 centimeters of water. Now the contraindications for post-op BPAP. If a patient is in cardiac or respiratory arrest, you don't want to use biphasic positive airway pressure. If they have severe agitation, if they have voluminous secretions, vomiting, or GI bleeding, or if they're unable to protect their airway. And one way to assess their airway is with the Glasgow Coma Scale. If that's below 8, they're generally considered to be unable to protect their airway. If they've had very bad facial trauma or if they're undergoing hemodynamic instability, you also don't want to use BPAP. It's worth noting that recent GI stapling, such as during gastric bypass, is not itself a contraindication as long as you meet these standard precautions. So if somebody gets a gastric bypass surgery, you can still give them BPAP as long as it's within these parameters. One thing you could do is to put in an NG tube with maybe a bag at the end of the NG tube to assess whether or not you have abdominal insufflation when using the biphasic positive pressure.